We're continuing this problem where we consider some definitions describing a world of time travelers in predicate logic. And we've already translated a few uh, statements into predicate logic. And now at this point, we're supposed to assume for just this part that the statements above, these statements up here, are true. And then evaluate the truth of the following statements down below. So, we should circle one of true, false, or unknown, and we only really get this information. We've got meanings of these statements, but we can't assume anything on the basis of the meanings that isn't actually stated in predicate logic. So our first statement is before E1, E1, which means E1 actually happened before E1. Uh, but we, we don't have anything that says that an event can't actually happen before itself. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we haven't stated anything explicitly. Uh, and none of our statements here about Ben meeting Adric or Clara being an event or even Doc observing two different events occurring in both possible orders or everyone who was at an event observed that event to occur before some other event. None of those statements that we've made as facts have any bearing on whether an event can occur before itself. So even though we might intuitively think that that should be false, we haven't stated anything to make it false. So it's unknown. Our next one is met Ben Adric, if and only if met Adric Ben. Uh, this is a biconditional, so it's only going to be true if both sides are true or both sides are false. So if both or neither are true. And we've already stated that Ben has not met Adric and Adric has not met Ben. So we know both sides of this are false. This is false, if and only if false. And that is true according to the truth table of a biconditional. So this statement we know to be true. Now we have at C E3 uh, oh typo that should be Clara sorry everyone and that should be Doc. Okay so at Clara E3 was Clara at event 3. Uh, Clara was at every event so we do know that Clara was at event 3. If that were just a C, that's a variable, so this is a predicate. It's, it's not true, it's not false, it's not even really unknown. It just doesn't have a truth value until we fill something in. So the way it was before I corrected it to Clara, it's not really any of these, but unknown is probably the best answer. And then OBS order DOC E2 E1. Well, the only thing we know about OBS order is this and this. Um, this says that if you were at some event, then you observe that event happening uh, before some other event. But we don't know the doc was at any particular events. We know he's observed two different events occurring in both possible orders, but we don't know that those events are E2 and E1. If these were universals, we'd know he observed every pair of events in both possible orders, every distinct pair, every pair that was unequal. Uh, this would also have to be an implication in that case. Um, but uh, we don't know that. So we don't know whether this is true or false. So it is also 